y'all this time as in this time I actually wrote down a few lines beforehand I just came prepared for my little my little rap <clears throat> all right <clears throat> My name's Simone. I'm not no joke. If you don't know, you can catch this smoke. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I know. I know. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another episode, another video, sorry. Well, this, I mean, it is kind of like an episode, but you know, another video with Simone. But welcome back to my channel, you know, I'm here, we're just navigating through our what together, our what? Our 20s, yes, okay. We're just going through life challenges and everything together. I know it can be a little scary, you can feel like, oh my gosh, I'm alone, no one else is going through this. Well, on here, babes, we are all going through the same thing, okay? So yes, so... If you're new here, hello and welcome. Hit the like and subscribe button. If you're an oldie, listen, you know, just hit the like button, okay? <laughs> ah, but yeah, so on this video, I'm going to be talking about, like, making friends as a young adult. I feel like I've been talking about this for, like, the longest. Like, I've mentioned this, like, a little bit, like, in a bunch of my past videos. And we're finally here. So we're going to finally talk about it and get into it and just kind of talk about what it's like making friends as a young adult compared to, you know, making friends when you were kids, you know? Cause it's, it's much, it's a very much different um, ball game for sure. So I'm gonna be kind of going into like how to do it and kind of like the green like red flags to look for while you're like making friends and everything. So yeah, <laughs> let's get into the video. <laughs> So, how to make friends as a young adult, or what what is it like making friends as a young adult? Honestly, what what it's like, it's a little tricky, honestly, because I feel like as a young adult, people, you realize, especially when you're like a healed person, you're on your healing journey, you're like a spiritual person, you're like really aware and everything, you you realize that like a lot of people just are not, they're not quite there yet. And people are in different parts of their journey. I think that's what it really is. As a young adult, you just kind of realize that everyone's in a different part of their journey. And that one, um, the likelihood of finding people in the same part of their journey, um, it just kind of goes down a little bit as you're an adult. I don't know why it just does. I think it's just because you have different, um, as an adult, you have less shared experiences, if that makes sense. Like... You know, like when you're in school, in grade school, like we all go through school together. But as a young adult, we all take different paths, you know, do different things. And so it just brings up a different, um, you know, different possibilities, different uh, sequences and stuff like that, you know? So, yeah, there's all that going on. Ooh, real complicated. We, so I got a little philosophical, a little physical, oh, a little philosophical right there. <laughs> That'll be like, I mean, we can do videos like that. If y'all want content like that, let me know. Okay, let me know. Because listen, baby, like, I can give it to y'all. Just let me know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's just kind of like that. And so, like, you just kind of realize as a young adult when you're, like, making friends and everything, like, some people just don't, there are a lot of heal people and unhealed people. I feel like it's, it's like 50-50. You know, I feel like there's a little bit more unhealed, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, so with that, it's just like, I don't know, I feel like as a young adult, people wear their mask a lot more because for some reason, I feel like that fear of rejection is just higher in adulthood. I don't know why. Um, actually, I do know why. I think it's just society. Yeah. <laughs> society, social norms, all that. Uh, uh, love it, hate it. <laughs> But yeah, and so I feel like people just kind of have some fronts and everything. So it's like, it's a little bit harder to decipher, okay, like, who's real, who's really for me, and who's not. So it's just kind of like that. And then it's like a little bit harder to, to find good people. Like, that's what it really is. Like, it's really hard to find good friends as a young adult. Like, you know, just being honest. Just being honest. Just being honest. Yeah. But, so how, how do we, like, resolve that? How do we overcome that? How do we make friends as a young adult? Honestly, you make your friends, you find your people by being in the same places that they would likely be. 
So, um, so like with that, it's like if I want to find someone who's Damn. Okay, so we're going to backtrack just a little bit. We're going to backtrack a little bit. So with that like, being the place that they would likely be, you go to places that you like to do. So like you want to, like that's how you find your friends is by catering to you. And you cater to yourself by being in places that you like to be and doing things that you like to do. So like if I like to, if I'm into clay, I'm going to go to like try to find like, a little pottery class, a clay making class or something like that and do that and then I'll just start talking to people in that class and then boom you make friends like that or if I'm really into fitness you know get you a little, like, nice little gym membership or yoga boom find friends that way um and then like you know you like to do painting and stuff like that boom find a paint class friends that way you know you really have to like put yourself out there like you have to put yourself out there put yourself in those spaces to where you would find people who have similar interests, similar um, perspectives, or like point of views, um, and so like you have, and so with that too, like you got to know yourself and know, okay, what do I like to do? Let me go do those things, be in those uh, spaces and everything, and then you'll start to find people who have um, your personality traits. And with that, you just kind of just watch and observe, you know, people a little bit. And go, okay, okay, I kind of see Susan over there. I kind of like what she's doing. Let me go hang over and talk to Susan a little bit more. Talk to her a little more. Be like, okay, you know what? Susan seems cool. Let's keep this going. And then boom, you got a friendship. You know, that's really how that's really how it works, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just gotta put yourself in those uh, the spaces and the places, okay? And you're fine with people, okay? <laughs> Uh, oh wow, I did not realize I closed my book. My bad. But yeah, so um, just doing that and of course, like of course, always be you and honestly being like your vibe attracts your tribe. So like just be you and the rest will just kind of follow and like you just, when you be you, ugh. when you're just being you, you know yourself, you know what you want, what you look for in a friend, you just kind of find individuals who have, who possess those traits and just get to know them, you know? Yes, okay, so we kind of talked about um, like how to make friends and everything and like what's what's this, uh, what's this like uh, making friends with a young adult. So let's kind of get into like some like green flags. What are like some good things to look for while you're in the process of like making friends and everything. So, um, so a good way to know like, your green or red flags is to one set your own standards like you really have to like take some time to get real with yourself and be like okay what what are qualities that i like in a friend and what are qualities what are qualities that i don't like in a friend you know what i'm saying and just kind of know like how do i want to be treated in a friendship and a lot of times with that too you gotta give yourself a little grace with this too because a lot of times with this it's like um i wouldn't say it's low-key like trial and error but it ca definitely can be you definitely have to kind of be like okay um or you might have to like go through a couple like bad friendships some bad ex experiences meeting people to be like okay you know what i fully understand how i want to be treated you know what i'm saying but hopefully you don't have to go through like go through like the hard way you can just kind of go through the soft way and just know like up front like, okay like yeah i want a friend who's gonna treat me like this who's gonna do x y and z you know so with that like um when you're while you're starting this process making friends as a young adult like really just be honest with yourself and just be like okay what do i like and what do i don't like in a friendship how do i want to be treated and then use it as your guide to making friends and like that'll let you know okay who's for you who's not for you okay <laughs> um but yes and also like another a uh, really big green flag i think i look for um like seeking new friends and everything is do they respect my boundaries and my values like if i'm really big on time do they respect my time and do they always let me know like hey i'm gonna be like 10 15 minutes late or are they always like excessively late or do they like you know if they cancel on me are they pretty good with like rescheduling and let me know like a good bit ahead of time like you're really big on time do they respect your time your values your boundaries okay um 
Ooh, I think a really big green flag is they let you be your own person, especially if you're like, you're new to the friendship group or something. They don't try to be like, oh, well, you're only doing this because so-and-so did that. And it's like, no, baby, I was already doing this. Like, this was already like a, a thing that I do. Why aren't you just accepting this is just me? Like, I'm not doing this because so-and-so did it. Like, uh, I once, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like, if they really just let you be your own person, they accept you for who you are and they see you for who you are and they don't try to be like, oh, well, you're only doing this because they did this, this, this and that. Like, they don't try to, like, downplay you or anything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um... Ooh, and like uh, a really big, another really big green flag is if they if they themselves are just really open and accepting. That's like a really big green flag, honestly. I think to me, if they're just open and accepting, um, like I think anyone who has an open mind is just that's like a really big green flag. Cause it's like okay, cool, like you're not gonna be so like closed off and like strict and like you know we have you go with the flow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, ooh, another a really big green flag, I think it's a really big green flag, is if you're, like, energized after all y'all's, like, encounters and everything, you feel more charged up, more you, just more, like, ready to go, like, that's such a big sign, because that means that they're really, like, they're pouring energy into you, like, that's a really big sign, so you feel more energized after hanging out with them, you just have a lot of energy, like, you just ready to go, hey, that's a good sign, they're, they're a good person to be around, okay? Um, and yes, and another like really big green flag, you know, similar interests and like values and stuff like that. Cause I feel like for any relationship, like platonic or not, for it to be sustainable, like you have to have like some common values, some common, um, interests, you know, I feel like for it to be sustainable, for it to go have that longevity, it just has to have like that common ground. So yeah, of course, that's like that's like a really big green flag. We all have a lot of similar interests and values and hobbies and stuff like that. So definitely some, those are like some green flags to look for while you're making friends as a young adult. All right, so now that we're kind of gone over the green flags, let's go over the red flags. Woo woo. Yeah. So, um... So I'm definitely like constantly wearing this up. So yeah, I'm gonna find that. So there my one I'm like But yeah, so some red flags to look out for like while you're making friends as a young adult. And honestly, I feel like I should do this. I might do this first. But yes, but honestly is if you're only hanging out and you're hanging out on their terms, it's only when they want to hang out, when they want to do something, or when they need something for you from you. That's a really big red flag, a really big one, because it just kind of shows that, like, they're not really your friend and the, and for the sake of being your friend. They're your friend for the sake of what you can do for them, how you can um, raise them up, essentially, without them having to do anything for you. Like, they're just, they're just using you. It's beneficial for them. So that's a really big red flag, a really big red flag. Like, mm-mm. Oh, baby um another really a really big red flag to me is that they're really needy and clingy like and that could just be like a personal thing i personally just like to have a lot of space but like that right there is kind of showing me like an indication to me like hey girl you might be a little like codependent and that's just not what i'm about it's not what i'm, I'm here for okay i like to have my own space my own time my own individuality like you're just a little too too much for me and like that's going to be subjective from person to person you know but yeah if you feel like to to you to your own set your own standards like they're a little too needy too clingy they always need your attention they're texting you this is mad and left and right like then you got to make that big girl decision bill okay you know what girly um you were cool at first but i just don't think we should continue this friendship i'm sorry it's not you it's me okay but like but that should but like that really be it really be true but I, I do admit like some people do be happy when they say that but there are certain times certain times where it's like okay no girly like it really is like it really is just me okay and like you just gotta use your discernment 
Um, but yes, and another like, oh, okay, I feel like I'm saying this for every red flag. <laughs> another red flag uh, if you feel like you're drained when you leave like your encounters with them, you feel like you're constantly drained or it's just like you feel like you're putting more in than what they're putting in. They're using you, they're draining you, or energy vampires, like red flag, big ass red flag, okay? Leave, leave, all right? If you feel like you're constantly noticing, like every time you leave from hanging out with them, like you're just drained, you feel less energized than how you were going into it, they're taking from you, like they're not pouring into your cup, they're just taking from your cup, okay? So you gotta peace out, okay? Deuces. Um, yeah. Another red flag is that they don't respect your boundaries. Oh my gosh. They don't respect your boundaries, your values. They don't, they essentially don't respect you as a person because boundaries are where, okay, this is Beatrice come out, um, Self Love Fix podcast. So definitely check her out. Yeah, it's right here. Mm -hmm. Y'all check her out. But yeah, Beatrice come out. A big thing she says in her podcast is, uh, boundaries are where you and I are, it's like, it's where I end and you uh, y'all know okay i'm not bad with quotes y'all i'm not bad with quotes i promise but boundary i think she says boundaries are where i end and you begin and i honestly really love that analogy that whole concept because it's um i think it's a really simple way to kind of put boundaries into perspective and to kind of get a, a good understanding of like what boundaries are uh, especially for someone who kind of struggles with setting boundaries and everything so yeah <laughs> But yeah, they don't respect your, your boundaries. They essentially are not respecting you as a person. And like that's just a really big, a non-negotiable to have in a friendship. Like you need someone, you need people around you who respect you as a person, as an individual. And like who who wants a friend who doesn't respect who does not respect them? So yeah, you set boundaries and you talk to them about it and they are still constantly just disrespecting them, they're not your friend anymore. And then also too, um, this is kind of more like you kind of got to do like some like meditating and like go like really like in. Um, so this is kind of like a, it's not necessarily a red flag, but it's like, I guess like a yellow flag. Yeah. So basically like you really have to kind of take time away to yourself and, and sit with yourself and be like, okay, do I like who I am when I'm around um, this, in, this individual or these individuals? Do I like who I am? And I think that's a really big indicator to tell who's, ooh, excuse me, who's for you and who's not for you, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to making friends. So you really have to, like, I think that's like a really big question you can use to kind of help you guide, um, guide your way through this process of making friends as, a, as an adult. Do I like who I am when I'm around them? And if the answer is yes, then that kind of shows you, okay, then they're kind of in line with who you want to be and like where you're trying to go. So yeah, definitely keep them around. But if the answer is no, you really like, really like who you are and what you do when you're around them, then you kind of got to tell yourself, be honest with yourself, be all right, I guess this is the end of the road with them, you know? And it's hard making that big girl decision to make that choice, to make that decision, be like, okay, you know what, I'm... I gotta go. I gotta leave this friendship alone, you know? But, yeah. <sighs> I think we reached this point in the video where I always do my little recap and everything. Uh, but making friends as a young adult is just a little, it's a tricky process. It can be a little scary at times, but at the same time, it's not impossible and it's not as it's not quite as hard as we think it is, okay? Like it really is not as bad as, or hard as we think it is. It's just you have to be really mindful and be aware of what it's like, you know, the reality of the world we live in, you know? So with that being said, just know like, know yourself, know what you like in a friendship, um, in a friend, and what you don't like, your do's and your don'ts, your non-negotiables, and use as your guide while you're making friends and like just be in like the spaces that they would most likely be at by doing the things that you love to do like your favorite hobbies um just things you love to do you know cater to yourself and you'll find the people who are going to cater to you okay <laughs>
Um, but yeah, and just notice your energy levels, how you feel when you're with them, when you're not with them. Um, and just notice do you feel more energized after hanging out with them or you feel less energized. And that'll let you know, okay, they're for you or they're not for you, okay, baby? Ah, but yes, guys. So I hope you were able, I hope y'all were able to kind of get a better sense of like what it's like and kind of get some tools from me in this video to kind of help you while you make or to kind of help you in the process as, damn, I just cannot talk today. Like, it's just one of those days, you know what I'm saying? But yes, but hopefully y'all got up to, ooh. Oh, I'm so sorry guys you know I think it's just like I'm a little tired I'm a little sleep deprived okay it's just you know that time I'm probably I'm gonna edit this part out for sure for sure yeah I'm gonna edit all this out tomorrow but yeah guys so I hope you're able to get some takeaways from that get some new insight get some new tools that kind of help you navigate like the process of making friends as a young adult and everything so yes i don't i don't know quite what i want to do for my next video topic but it'll definitely be it'll be something good it'll be something good okay i got you guys i got y'all all right but until then guys please take care of yourselves and i'll see y'all in my next video okay bye oh right okay another video done